Now you will learn how to deposit, trade, and withdraw on coin X step by step. I will show you the whole process from the beginning until the end, executing trades in front of your eyes. The first step to get started is to create a free CoinEx account. And I will leave your link in the description right here below the video so you can join right away. After clicking the link below my video, you will land on the official CoinEx registration page where you will learn a little bit of details about CoinEx and you can create your free account using your email address, Apple or Google account. All sign up methods are free. A beautiful thing about CoinEx is that you can use it even without identity verification. You can do depositing, trading and even withdraw funds without ID verification. If you want to deposit using fiat currencies such as euros, dollars or other ones, you can click here buy crypto and you can choose here the fiat currency that you want to use for depositing. You can choose a suitable option right here click here buy and follow the steps on the screen. I prefer to use the crypto deposit because it's often easier for me and you can do it by hovering your mouse here into assets and click here deposit. Then you can choose what currency you want to deposit by clicking right here. As you can see they support numerous different currencies. I will choose USDC. Next you can choose the network. I choose here Solana network to avoid high fees. Then it gives me the deposit address. I click here copy. It says copied. Now you can choose which platform you want to use for depositing money to Coinex. I will withdraw from Binance to Coinex. So I will choose here the same coin. I have pasted the address here and it auto matches the Solana network. Before choosing the withdrawal amount, you want to go back and forth between Coinex and Binance and you want to double check three things. The same coin, same address and same network to make sure that everything is correct and the same. Once you have double checked everything, you can choose the withdrawal amount right here. Click here max. It says network fee 0.00 USDC. I will click here withdraw and we will come back when the deposit has come through to Coinex. A few moments later. You can see here on my Coinex bot account that the deposit has gone through. Here you can see USDC 28. Now you are ready to start trading. And the first option you can find here into exchange, buy and sell crypto in a click. You can choose here which currencies you want to swap. I have chosen here USDT and USDC as an example. Here I can choose the amount. I can click here swap. I click here confirm and you can see swap was successful. You can also do similar trading here on the spot trading section. Easily trade with any crypto combination. And you can choose the trading pair on the left hand side. For example we have now the USDC and USDT. But if I want to trade with Bitcoin I can choose here BTC USDC and if you want to find it later faster you can click this star icon and it will add the trading pair into your favorites. There are lots of built-in trading tools on CoinEx that you can use to analyze the price movements including different trading indicators that you can find here. Let me just show you a quick example moving average and it draws it here on the chart and you can see them right here. You are able to close them and you are able to also adjust the settings right here. So it provides this trading view built in plugin. If you want to keep the view simple you can simply click here for basic and here you will see the basic view. A quick way to trade from one currency to another is choosing here market. Let me show how it works. I scroll this one, I click here buy BTC, submitted successfully. That's how I converted USDC into BTC. If you want to see more details on the spot trading swap and other trading features here on the spot market, 
take a look at my previous videos on my Coinix playlist. Now let's quickly move into the futures trading by clicking right here. And now they have three different options. You can use USDT as collateral. It has the most trading pairs as you can see here. Dozens if not hundreds of different trading pairs. You can also use BTC or Ethereum as collateral. And you can use USDC as collateral that has two trading pairs. BTC USDC and Ethereum USDC. Since I have already opened trades with USDT as collateral and also here I have another trade open using BTC as collateral. I will show you now the examples with USDC. So I click right here. You notice that I have also added that one into favorites. BTC USDT and BTC USDC. The first thing you want to do is to transfer from spot to futures. Because as you can see here in your assets, they have different accounts for different purposes. Spot, margin, futures, loan, financial and AMM that is discussed also in another video. So first you can do it here on the account section or you can do it directly here on the futures trading. You can click this button right here and then I can transfer from spot to futures. I choose the amount, I click here confirm, it was transferred successfully. Now here in the middle you will see again the charts in the same way as on spot trading. You are able to zoom in, zoom out. On the right hand side you will see the price. On the bottom you will see the time frame. For example, if you want to choose one year time frame, you choose it right here. If you want to choose that each candle represents one day, you can choose that one right here. And now each candle represents the price action that happened in one day. If you zoom in right here for the prices and you want to go back, you simply double click once and you can see it defaults the price view. Same also with the time frame. When you double click right here, it goes back to the previous one. If you want to learn to use any of the trading features here on the trading section, tell me in the comments below, right here below the video. And I consider creating a dedicated video covering your trading requests. Now you can open positions by scrolling down and you can choose your order type right here. I will also cover them more in detail in my other videos. But with the market order it's usually good because then you get your trade executed right away. You can choose here your leverage and keep in mind the higher the leverage, the higher the risk, the lower the leverage, the lower the risk. Let's take 10x for example purposes. In this case everything is 10 times amplified. But when you trade with yourself, remember to keep it conservative, preferably 5 or less. If you choose buy long, you are expecting the price of an asset to go higher. If you choose sell short, you are expecting the price of an asset to go lower. When we talk specifically about BTC, usually we expect it to go higher because it's the best performing asset in the universe by multiple different time frames. One thing you also notice here in the trading chart is that the tracking for BTC USDC starts from July 23. That's when Coinex seemed to introduce the BTC USDC. If I choose BTC USDT, you can see the price chart goes even further because they have enabled trading with that one even longer. So you can see the difference right here. But both of them have a pretty good liquidity, especially if you are not trading with crazy big amounts. Let me open an example order. I scroll this one to the right. I click here buy long. It gives me the details. I can click here don't show it again and I click here confirm. It was submitted successfully and as I scroll down you can see it right here. When you have an open position you are able to see the overview right here. Trading pair, the leverage type, the leverage size. Are you going long or short? What is the trading amount? Average entry price, market price, liquidation price, position margin, also the PNL, 
and the liquidation risk. And if you want to see even more details, you can click this button right here and it gives you an overview on the screen. When you want to close the trade, you can simply click this flash close to liquidate or you can click here close and you can choose how much of the trade you want to close. I will close all of it to click here confirm and you can see it was submitted successfully. You might be asking what is the benefit of using the limit order instead of a market order and there are multiple benefits and the first of them is also having lower trading fees because let me show here in the fee structure you can see here that when you are doing maker orders your fee is usually lower than when you are doing taker orders and when you use the market you are a taker because you take orders from the order book and when you use limit you are a maker because you add orders to the order book and that's why they reward you with the lower fee and if you want to lower your fee even further you can rise up here in the VIP levels to get your fee even better let me quickly give you an example of the limit order I choose this one right here and you can also choose the amount in USDC. So if I choose here, let's say 500 USDC for example purposes, you notice that my own margin will be less than 50 USDC because we are using cross 10x. And let me choose here limit order, for example, 104K. So it's slightly lower than the current price. I click here buy long. You can see submitted successfully. It goes into pending orders and it's now right here. If BTC were dropped into this price, this trade would be executed and I would have two benefits. First of all, I would get the better price than the current price. And second, I would pay a lower fee because I'm a maker. This order right here is right now in the order book right here so it's adding liquidity into the platform if you change your mind and you want to cancel your order you can simply click here cancel and it was successfully cancelled right away now when you want to withdraw funds from coinx it's the same process as depositing just the other way around first you want to transfer your funds into spot account let me click right here from futures to spot I click here all, I click here confirm, it says transferred successfully. When I go back to my spot account, you can see the USDC has arrived immediately. And when I want to withdraw, I can simply click here withdrawal. Here you can choose what currency you want to withdraw. I will choose here USDC. And here you can choose a normal transfer. If you want to transfer funds away from CoinEx, if you want to transfer it to another user, you can choose this inter-user transfer for zero fees. I will show an example withdrawal from CoinEx to Bybit. So I will click here deposit. I click here deposit crypto. I choose here USDC. And now I want to choose the same chain on both platforms. Here, if you want to avoid fees, you can choose these networks that have lower fees, but you want to double check that the other platform also supports them. I will choose Solana for example purposes. So then I go back to Bybit and I also choose here Sol Network. I click here copy to address. It says copied successfully. I paste the withdrawal address right here. And now again, I double check three things. First, the correct coin second the correct network and third the withdrawal address i go back and forth between coinex and bybit to see that they are the same and then i choose the withdrawal amount i will show an example withdrawal of 50 usdc i will click here withdraw and we will come back once it has gone through you can see that I received the withdrawal confirmation on CoinX, 50 USDC withdrawal was sent. And here is also the proof on Bybit that the 50 USDC deposit has been confirmed. Do you want to learn how to trade even more in detail here on CoinX and use the other features including automated trading tools, financial and staking platforms, and learn about platform promotions, including CoinX Mining, 
I invite you personally to come to my Coinex playlist to learn to use Coinex step by step. Simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and you will learn to use Coinex right now.